Hello everybody. Thank you so much for visiting uh, Riders United YouTube channel. This is the place where I release uh, weekly videos related to motorcycle riding. I also try to share some helpful tips and tricks with uh, any motorcycle rider. And I also document some of my personal rides. If you didn't have the chance to check my channel yet, please uh, like and subscribe and hit this bell icon. I have over 100 videos right now on my channel, so I really hope that you will find uh, something interesting for yourself. And in today's episode, I would like to talk to you about the monkey butt. And if you ride long enough, you probably know what it is. If you don't, uh, this is something that uh, I will be talking about in this episode. So please uh, stick around and I will uh, share with you some helpful tips to prevent it. Here we go. So as many riders know, after riding for many miles, there are sometimes uh, this really unpleasant feeling uh, that is called monkey butt. So basically what it is, is the chafing of the skin on your butt. And after uh, just sitting on the motorcycle for many hours and with all the moisture and sweat in this area, it's actually like uh, two pieces uh, of your cheeks that are like rubbing next to each other and it creates the irritation which might lead even to infection later on and it's really unpleasant feeling to any motorcycle rider. So there are like a few tips that I would like to share with you which hopefully will allow you to prevent this from happening and I have to say in my specific case I have really outstanding seed from Corbin that uh, created some, some airflow under, uh, uh, over the seat and under my butt and it really helps but I noticed that even with this outstanding seed, when I was on my latest trip in uh, Georgia and Alabama, after five days, I still developed uh, the monkey butt because I didn't follow my own advice and my own tricks that I kind of developed over the years. So I would like to talk about this and kind of uh, tell you what you can do in order to prevent it. So as you can see on my bench, I have uh, three different items. I have this uh, air hook pillows, I have my briefs that I never expected I will be showing on this channel, and I also have the baby powder or monkey butt powder. So there are a few things uh, that can help you avoid this unpleasant feeling on the longer rides. And the first thing that I would like to mention will be the air hook pillow or any other uh, material that you can put on your seat that will create the really nice airflow between the seat and your butt. And you can also use the sheepskin if this is something that you prefer. But as you will notice, this air hook actually serves two purposes. It increases the comfort for you because you are sitting on the air a little bit and you can like pump it up to kind of uh, get more air inside of the air pillow. But you also will notice that there are these little tiny holes in here that prevent uh, uh, the air from being trapped and actually promote the really nice airflow. So this is a really helpful item. I have to say, you can see I have two of those. This one is for me, this one is for my wife. And yeah, it was about a hundred bucks each, maybe 120 bucks, depending on the side, size. But at the same time, it was money well spent. And this is step number one in prevention of the monkey butt or this uh, skin chafing that I'm talking about in here. As you can see, I have my personal briefs and the reason that I actually brought those is uh, the fact that I would like to mention that using cotton briefs and or cut cotton underwear is not the best idea on the motorcycle because especially if you are in this uh, high humid areas I mean, obviously we are sweating and all the sweat will be trapped in your, in your cotton underwear, which will prevent uh, actually like proper airflow. And it can actually be big contributor to monkey butt over time. So those are uh, polyester uh, uh, underwear that uh, those are preferred for any type of really long distance riding. And I have to say, that was probably the reason why I developed monkey butt on my latest trip because I used uh, this combination before on my other trips and I didn't have this issue. But for whatever reason, this time I was uh, a little bit uh, less cautious and I said like, ah, oh, maybe I can do it, it's just a few days. 
And sure enough, after five days, I started developing this unpleasant feeling. And the horrible thing about this is that if you develop this, there is no really fast way to cure it. You need like two, three days to kind of recover from it. The skin has to heal. And I mean, if you have to ride like many, many days and anything after like two or three days, you have the pretty high chance of developing monkey butt. So air pillow and definitely good underwear. The third thing that you will notice on my bench is this baby powder. And recently I decided to also buy the monkey butt. So this is kind of uh, the same product. This one probably smell a little bit better or whatever the addition they did to it. But basically is the talcum powder. And what I did in the past, when I tried to prevent monkey butt, I would just take the shower in the morning, dry myself uh, uh, really, really well. And then I will apply this baby powder or monkey butt on my butt to make sure that the, this will also help with uh, absorbing any moisture in this uh, area. So I think that the, those three items can really help you out with uh, preventing monkey butt. And like I said, if you are on the road for many days or you have to you have to cover multiple miles, this is really easy insurance that will allow that you can ride in comfort for all these miles that you have planned. Because yes, riding with monkey butt is definitely nothing funny and nothing pleasant. And like I said, it takes a few days to cure it. So we should uh, definitely try to prevent it from the beginning. So this is everything I got for you guys today. And as always, I would like to definitely hear your comments on this topic. I mean, I always uh, learn a lot uh, from uh, viewers of my channel because uh, they always provide these really helpful comments which allow me to kind of uh, gain my knowledge and maybe share it with the, with the riders uh, during recording of these videos uh, later on. So please uh, like and share and, and submit some comments. I will be always happy to reply to any questions that you might have on this video on my uh, Facebook group called the Riders United Motorcycle Group. I also have the Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. So please uh, follow me on these platforms. And one more time, please uh, like and subscribe. I really, uh, I'm really happy if my channel will uh, reach about the uh, 1500 subscriber just, uh, just uh, yesterday. So thank you guys for being here with me. I always appreciate your time and thank you so much. And I will see you next Friday. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.